What's up, Raider Nation? What is up? I am the Commish. This is your immediate week four post-game reaction. You watched it. I watched it. That fumble got that fumble made shit sketchy. <laughs> Listen, man, I got nothing but love for Zamiri as a Raider. I think he can be a definite part of the running game. But damn, that man don't need to be the number one running back. What more does Alexander Madison need to do to show you he's got running back number one written all over him for this team? That's the man that should be fucking carrying the rock for the Raiders as, as the primary. Not Zamir White. This was just a gritty, good team win. We know how decimated and injury the team was. The offensive line's a fucking patchwork quilt. We're, you know, you're missing Devontae, Mad Max, Diablo, Epps goes out on IR. This was just a great, gritty team win. And I hate to even say a must win in week four, but... Almost. And man, I about lost my fucking voice during this game. This was this was a big game. Um, they At times, they were able to contain Deshaun Watson. He was able to be a little bit of his old self at times, but as a whole, I think they did well against him. Uh, that, the man, the defensive stop to close the fucking game. I, I, I mean, Snowden in, in fucking mirroring Mad Max in almost back-to-back -back plays there. It, Tyree was getting pressure. I, I wore my Tyree. I was rocking the number one. <laughs> I knew he was going to help try to fill in for Max. I, I was I was doing all I can. <laughs> Sitting at home, sucking down fucking Coors Lights. I was doing all I can. Herbal refreshments, whatnot. You know, I was doing all I can. I was fucking pacing this damn room, man. I wore, I wore I wore a fucking wear pattern in the fucking studio floor, but you know I tell you what I, I support the team man I know I know it's you know Gardner Minshew is not the fucking guy everybody wanted he's not the sexy guy but you know what I put my motherfucking money where my mouth is and last week I ordered my son a fucking Brock Bowers jersey a, a fishing one from the Raider fucking image and I ordered myself a motherfucking Minshew number two. Jersey for myself, and I will be rocking that bitch next week, and I'll be rocking it proudly because that's our quarterback. Suck it up, accept it. Aiden is not the starter. Back your starting quarterback. Back your starting quarterback. Put your money where your mouth is as a fucking fan. You should be rooting for the man who's under center. They don't. You don't decide who's under center. You root for who's ever there. If Aiden was given the starting position, I would be rooting my ass off for him. I would have ordered me a fucking no, Super Trooper number 12. Or 16, or what fucking number he is. What number is he? I don't even remember. Um, 16, 12, whatever he fucking switched to. 16, isn't it? <laughs> I should know that. But that's the farthest thing from my memory. But this this was just a good team win. And, and like, the cherry on top was I heard all week, oh, this is Amari Cooper's fucking revenge game. Old fucking Stonehands gives it back. Oh, Trayvon Morick, fucking Deshaun Watson throws a fucking bullet. Stonehands can't handle it. Remember in the Pro Bowl when he the one bounced off his fucking head? <laughs> Oh, you resting bitch face motherfucker. Take your fucking brown ass the fuck home. We'll embrace you once upon a time when your ass retires. Once a Raider, always a Raider. But right now, you're a fucking shit stain and take your ass home. <laughs> Coop! I was in here yelling, Coop! Coop! <laughs> Coop! There's your fucking Coop, motherfucker. Take your ass fucking back to Cleveland, fucking armpit of the fucking country. Take your ass back. The fuck they got there? Other than the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I don't know why they put that there. It's a goddamn shame. But it's the only thing Cleveland has, and that's pretty cool. I'll give them that, I guess. You gotta give them something, right? <laughs> Not really. But um, great win. Just, just a great win. Just a great win. I, I, after last week, the, the team needed that. The fan base needed that. It's just this is just a good win. We we walk this week with our chest out. You know we can be proud to rock your Raider gear. I mean we always we're always proud to rock our Raider gear. But you know you you don't want to listen to somebody's mouth all the time. <laughs> now 
you can be like, yeah, we're two and two. We're in the hunt. We're right there. I don't know how the Chiefs fucking sparklers game, Queef sparklers shook out or if that's still going on. I was so tied up in the end of the Raider game, I kind of, I got Red Zone going on the other TV, but I wasn't even paying any attention to the Red Zone channel at all. <laughs> that game had me on the edge of my damn seat, man. Zamir coughed that fucking ball up. My motherfucking blood pressure shot up. Shit, my face was probably red, you know. God, this fucking team's going to kill me one of these days. It's going to be on a Sunday. I guarantee you. I'm going to die on a Sunday someday. <laughs> It's going to be a game day. It's just going to be like, ah, you know, ah, and that's it. I'm just going to fucking flatline. And, you know, I, I, if, if that's the way I go, I hope that's the way I go. Because it'll be doing one of the things I love the most. And that's watching my motherfucking Raiders play. And fucking, hey, man, that was, a, that was a big win. Must win in week four. I don't give a fuck. It was a must win in week four. You couldn't go to one and three. You couldn't go to one and three. That would be death, man. You got you got the Sparklers and the Queefs battle in the top position. You couldn't go one and three. Now you go to Donkeyville. Very winnable game. You know, like I said, I, I thought Bo Nix was going to pop off for a game. I thought he was going to have a good game against the Bucks. He did. And then, you know, you know they won, but it was, a, it, it was fucking 10 to 9. I, I watched a lot of that game because I was keeping a, a, somebody I knew that was a Jets fan updated because they didn't have the red zone. And... It was a it was a shit show, an absolute fucking pathetic. They get lucky they won. They should have lost. So, you know the the Jets do what the Jets do. You got two teams there that both pissed down their leg, fucking battling over. You know, like, like who's gonna piss the most? <laughs> so yeah, next week's a very winnable game. And all of a sudden you're three and two, man. You're three and two, and you're looking at the Steelers game. And the Steelers are they're a good team, but you know I, I don't know if they're all that you know. They lose, lost this week. I don't know if they're all that everybody thought with that, that you know undefeated start. I still don't think they're all that in a bag of chips. I think that's a very winnable game for the Raiders. And, you know, then you got kind of a tough stretch. The, the, although the Rams are, are very, very beat up right now. But that chiefs Bengals game, that's a tough one before the bye. This is, this is a good win, man. Just, just enjoy this win, Raider Nation. Enjoy your fucking Victory Monday. Enjoy your Victory Monday, each and every damn one of you. I'll be here on Tuesday, and then we'll be back on Wednesday with a double shot of Hardcore Challenge Live because due to a little, a little hurricane storm action we had in the current neighborhood, um, fucked up my concert on Wednesday, and then you know, my internet was spotty, so I couldn't do a Hardcore Challenge Live. So I'm going to do a double shot show on Wednesday, catch this one up for two weeks. But I'll see you on Tuesday for the Raider Nation Report. We'll, we'll dig into this. We'll... We'll, we'll look at it in more detail. Pal Mao in his freaking start, his, his first NFL start with a big fucking play. Um, Trayvon Morig. I mean, I know. Hey, listen, I know. Stonehands pops the ball up in the air, but somebody's still got to make the fucking play. I mean, that's not the pivotal, mo a pivotal moment in the game. If none of the D-backs catch that, yeah, he still drops the fucking play, but it's not a fucking turnover. It's not flipping the fucking field. You know, so uh, that's still a big play. It's a big play from fucking Trayvon. Uh, the, both the safeties played well. Uh, I, I thought, you know, the guy stepping in at linebacker did well. You know, Tyree had a good game. I mean, it doesn't. A lot of it doesn't show on the stat line, but man, I seen that dude pressuring. He was putting pressure on the entire time, the entire time from that side. And Snowden getting in there and making big plays. I mean, this was this was a hey, next man up. We need you this week. This is a must win for the fucking franchise. We got guys down everywhere. We're a motherfucking mash unit. We need a week or so to get shit together. We need y'all to step up. And they stepped up. That this this was just a great gritty team win. Um, you know, the Browns are you know, with Deshaun Watson. That dude can pop off and have a crazy game any day, man. I mean, he, he's a running threat. He's a throwing threat. He can throw on the run. You know, he, he burned us many times today, and just just a great win. Great win. Enjoy it. I feel like I'm rambling because I'm. I, I just want to celebrate with you. <laughs> Enjoy your fucking victory Monday, Raider Nation. We fucking, we, we deserve this one. We deserve this one. I'm out. Peace. Love. Raider Nation.